Today we are in San Hollow, Utah, and we're gonna run the maze backwards. I know for a lot of people, going downhill is a you know it's a heart bumper. It gets you going. That's a big Let's get on video, Alyssa. Uh, I just went full send in the Mega Razor. In the end, we made it out the top, and I don't know if anyone else will, but let's see. Every year, Power Stop makes the journey from their headquarters in Chicago to the world-renowned SEMA show in Las Vegas, teaming up with some of the biggest personalities in the off-road community. We put their rigs to a real-world test as we attempt to ride 10 trails in four states in just 10 days. In a world of boundaries, dead ends, and U-turns, where other vehicles see the end of the road, we see the start of the adventure. So join us where the pavement ends on the trail to see me. Sand Hollow, Utah. Located in Southwest Utah, this OHV area has become a popular hub for the off-road community for its diversity of terrain and the you see it, you crawl it mentality. After days of wheeling the loose gravel trails of California, our convoy dives tires first into the never-ending traction of Sand Mountain. Today we are in Sand Hollow, Utah, and we're going to run the maze backwards. This means a lot of down and a lot of up. <laughs> driving over rocks in our Jeep truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully nobody yard sales. Or brakes. And maybe they may need a new rad cap. That's what it's all about. All right, ready? Sorry, guys. Happy Halloween. We came up this tiny little hill here, and the motor died. It seems Shame like it's starting it. for fuel. It's not getting any fuel. The fuel pressure gauge doesn't show that it's, you know, it does, that it has any pressure. My fuel gauge now shows three quarter full. So we don't know. Does a pump come on on Keon? Yeah. Where? I can hear it. Go. Hear it again. Hold on, y'all. Hey, hey. So we're gonna see if it's a fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, what it could possibly be. We think going over the dunes or something, we got a little air sucked in. Once we got the top of the fuel cell cover off and checked the pump, that's where we noticed the pump had a loose connection. And then we went and pulled our return line. I cranked it over a couple times, we blew some fuel through there, got up to 60 PSI and got it unlocked. So it's good, good to go now. like kind of a bit of a drop off on the other side of this obstacle. Going up it really kind of shook, shook me up and then I felt a little light on the front and it was just way too oh, tippy shit. for me. So I'm just gonna let Gideon do it. I have to say that Jeremy is the best fodder I've ever had and I trust him, but once I'm scared, I don't wanna risk it. So that, that was it for me on this obstacle. We're doing it backwards, so you know, going down all this stuff. I know for a lot of people, going downhill is a you know, it's a heart bumper. It gets you going because you you lose a little bit of that control. So 
no, there's two little optional lines right here. That one's called totally nuts. And no, that one's called you gotta be nuts. And this one's called you gotta be totally nuts. So I think I, I tried, I did this one, but I think there's like a cheater line on that one. So I'm gonna go give it a shot, see what happens. a darn thing but sky and my mouth was totally cotton mouth heart was racing I thought I was gonna flip over backwards a few times I came up in the air a few times I'm just pumped I'm still alive <laughs> That's super impressive I figured he had it though when I when I knew I didn't have it I thought he'd have it he's got he's got that wheelbase is perfect for him and he's got so much seat time in that rig I told him I came down there I told him he'd get it I'm glad he did it's a little sketchy so a couple spots though but that's awesome. Awesome. Right, Holly? Yeah. Even though we got a late start, we're still all having a good time. There's a lot of good camaraderie. I think everybody's got a good attitude. Oh. Yeah, well, really, because I, I really like to cheer everybody up, and there was another costume that matched the green Jeep, and I thought Jay would be the perfect luck bear. Oh, it's Halloween, man. Happy Halloween. I'm a lucky bear. I guess. I'm getting lucky. So he got rounded into being Care Bears. Plus, there's only certain costumes that fit Jay. Today is Halloween, and I am Ian Johnson today. This is how you be Ian Johnson. Do your hair, get your shoulder pads in, move your feet. You never stop moving. You never stop moving. You never stop moving your hands when you're talking like this. Whenever you check your phone, this is how you check your phone. <laughs> check your phone. Fiddle with this thing all the time. Move back and forth so the camera guys can never get focus. And that is how you become Ian Johnson for Halloween. Let me tell you what's going on out here. You got these Jeeps and they're driving them over rocks. It's amazing. Yep. obstacle that I tried was a buggy line and I said that I was going to kiss the wall and see how I felt and um, I gave it a little bump and almost came over the side. But I 
didn't. I didn't even go into reverse quick enough. So I was just kind of like praying that everything stopped. And it did! in the Mega Razor and after a few tries basically aired out the front end, landed up there and drove away clean. In the end we made it out the top and I don't know if anyone else will but we'll see. Nothing big, just trying to get it over before the oil all gets into the intake. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Well, now we don't want to roll over this damn case of cow's water in there. Why do you always roll when we're wheeling together? Hey, he just doesn't listen with the damn to the spot. <laughs> it's very Shit. obvious. That's all it is. Uh, so I didn't know it, but my rear left tire went into that hole right there and that caught and gave traction and flipped me up this way. Day one sand hollow turned out to be epic. We came into the maze trail, got a little lost, but hit a bunch of gnarly hill climbs. Ended it all with two awesome things. Number one, the Mega Razor launching up the hill, and number two, Bleepin' Jeep flopping his XJ, which is now definitely a two buggy because when you flop it back over, it looked perfectly fine. But all that, still a great day wheeling in sand hollow on Trail to SEMA 2019. Stop Trail is presented by Optima Batteries, the official power source of the trail, and Lucas Oil, the official oil provider. In association with HP Tuners, Rigid Industries, Milestar Tires, Vision Wheel, Aero Lids, Rev Kit, RCV Performance, Icon Vehicle Dynamics, Traxxas, and Retrax.